Welcome back to LA Fish Guys Aquarium Tech Talk Apex installation. We're over at Jim's house. Um, we have mounted our Apex. We've connected all the devices um, and modules. We've done our networking. We have connected it to Fusion, to the web cloud. Um, next step is going to be probe calibration. Now at this point we only have one probe and that's his pH probe. Um, this will involve calibrating using two different solutions. One is our pH 7.01 and the other is our pH 10.01. Um, this is our pH probe. We have to connect it into the apex and the probe ships a little bit of solution there in the bottom which keeps the probe tip wet. Um, we will be removing that as we prepare to calibrate. And so the first thing, item of business is going to be connecting this into the apex and there's two ports on the apex. One is um, a dual purpose port. It can be used for ORP as well as pH. Um, we have that port disabled through the controller. Um, if you weren't using ORP and say you had a calcium reactor and you wanted a separate pH probe for your calcium reactor control, uh, that's what you could use that second port for or for ORP. Um, and ORP is oxygen reduction potential. Um, and it's a good means of determining the health of the system. Um, you know, a system crash would be easily noticeable on an ORP probe, for example, and the higher the ORP, the better the water quality. But at this point, we don't need to get into ORP, we're not going to be using ORP, but we are going to be using this pH probe, so the first item of business is connecting it to our base unit, um, and we're going to go in here, and we are going to connect this port to the pH port on there which, this camera here, you can see, got it connected right there, and it says PHORP, that's PH only port, and that's where we want it, not PHORP, but PH only. So, got that. Next step is to clean this off. Um, Jim, if you wouldn't mind, I'd like to get some RODI water, a little cup of RODI water. Alright, so we've got our pH Pro. We have our pH solution, calibration solution. A little glass of RODI water there to rinse the probe in. First step is to go into the Apex controller and select calibration. So you hit the little middle button there to go into the menu. Being set up in here. Go to pH setup and pH calibrate. And the probe name is calibrate. Select OK. Alright. And this gives you the different types of solutions that you can calibrate to. We're using pH 7. If you were calibrating for a calcium reactor, um, you would use a lower range of calibration, so you would start with 4 and your high solution would be 7. But because we're monitoring a higher level of pH than we would in a calcium reactor, you know, we're looking in the 8 you know, plus range, ideally, um, we use probe solution seven and, one, uh, 7 and 10. So, you select 7, hit save. This place in probe solutions. So we're going to take our little cap off. I'm going to rinse it, shake it off real well, open up our solution here. And we're going to submerge the probe in there. And it's going to take a little while, but also want to get any air bubbles out, kind of swirl it around in there. And in a minute, these numbers start changing. And it doesn't matter what those numbers are there, what matters is, is that they stop moving. And it will take several minutes for these numbers to completely settle and stop moving. And, and I'll swirl it a little bit in there, I don't want to shake it around because the idea is to get air out of the probe tip, so you know, we'll kind of Move it a little bit in there to make sure that there's no air trapped in the little bulb. 
and be patient and we're going to wait until this settles out and as I said it's going to take a few minutes for this number here to stop changing but once that number stops changing then we'll click OK and go on to the next solution so time to be patient right now and let it settle and every once in a while it helps to kind of move it around in the solution to make sure that there's no air trapped in there be patient all right so probe is stop settling step one of calibration so next step is to hit OK while we're doing that we're gonna take this out shake it off dip it in there get our next calibration solution ready to go didn't need to shake it open the bag boy scissors would be nice but that's okay we don't need it get that prepared Take this out shake it off well, put it into our pH 10 solution. Get rid of any air bubbles in there by swirling it. Don't want to get a bunch of air bubbles into the calibration solution, so you don't want to mix it too much. The idea is to get the air bubbles out and then again, be patient and let it settle. Numbers here are changing. Once those numbers start changing, again, it doesn't matter what those numbers are. It just matters that they stop changing. Again, we'll give this several minutes to settle so those numbers stop changing. Every once in a while, we'll kind of twist the probe a little bit, make sure that there's no air bubbles in there or air trapped in the probe tip. and let her settle and it is very important that you let it settle properly for your pH probe calibration to be accurate so again be patient let it settle once these numbers stop changing and don't change it all for a couple minutes then you know you're calibrated and you're ready to go on to the next step which is to click OK and move it into the tank so right now we'll be patient and let it settle Royal Exclusive is the manufacturer of the highest quality German-made protein skimmers, pumps, and filter systems. The coveted Bubble King protein skimmers are made with the finest materials available and the world's quietest and most efficient internal and external skimmers. Royal Exclusive Red Dragon RD3 pumps are the highest quality, most efficient, and silent variable speed pumps on the market. They range in flow from 1,300 gallons per hour to over 5,400 gallons per hour. Royal Exclusive Dreambox filter systems feature welded PVC construction that's built to last a lifetime. They feature internally adjustable water levels, custom inset lids, optional internal LED lighting, internal media reactors, and so much more. Check out royalexclusive.net and royalexclusive.com for more information. Reef Hobbyist Magazine believes that our hobby, our fellow hobbyists, 
and the animals in our care are best served by the free distribution of quality information. Reef Hobbyist Magazine provides hobbyists with critical husbandry information with an emphasis on marine ornamental breeding efforts. Reef Hobbyist Magazine is available for free in local fish stores across the country or you can subscribe at www.reefhobbyistmagazine.com. One of the best things about going with an Apex is that you become one of the tens of thousands of other owners that love helping each other out. Maybe you get stuck, or maybe you just want to simply take on a new DIY project. Whatever your question is, the Neptune Systems Community Forum brings all of those thousands of users together to help you answer it. Many of the things discussed in this video series are also covered there in various posts. Or add your own question and start the conversation. That's forums.neptunesystems.com. All right, so uh, see we're about to settle there. Click OK here. Probe is, should be calibrated now. Notice there it says pH is 10. Check our calibration here. Rinse it. Shake it off well. Put it in the 7 solution. And if it's accurate, it should settle right down to around 7 here in a moment. That's pretty damn accurate. I'm sure it would settle down to 701 if you let it, but 7.02 on 701 solution means we're pretty much spot on. So now that we've got it calibrated, um, finding a good place in the sump is kind of important. You want it in an area of high flow, but you also want it in an area that doesn't have a lot of micro bubbles, and the oxygen in the probe tip will impact its accuracy. So I'm just going to kind of route this line here. On the back, we'll clean up wires later, but if you want to route it in a good place. You also want to try to avoid running probe lines in parallel or alongside of power lines. Uh, we've chosen a spot, or I chose a spot in the sump that's away from power devices. Put it right in there. little probe holder thing there. We'll drop her in. And again, an area of decent flow that does not have a lot of micro bubbles is important. Locker in place, it's also good to make sure that you don't have the probe tip or the probe top submerged. Drag this wire out of the way. Put temp probe in here. Put that over here. And we'll take our extra wire and clean it up.
away. So now we know Jim's pH is looking pretty good. 8.19 is a decent number. Um, so we've now covered the Apex basic uh, installation, um, networking, fusion, probe calibration. Our next step is going to be to set up Jim's ATO equipment, his automatic top off, and take advantage of the versatile breakout box. So stay tuned for the next part of LA Fish Guys Aquarium Tech Talk, Apex installation at Jim's house.